Now before we start, the beginning of this quest is now found in Port Sarim. At the time of the video recording, it was found in Berthop, but the dialogue is still the same. To begin the quest, go ahead and speak to Gudrig, choose the first chat option, then accept the quest. Right click him and choose the travel option to travel to Ashdale. Choose the first chat option. Once on the island, keep heading north until you find a small, very lit building. Go ahead and speak to Lucy. Choose the first, then the third chat option. Once the conversation is over, head down the storm drain highlighted on the small cutscene. Next, make your way through the sewer. It's quite linear, so you don't have to worry about getting lost. You'll eventually hit a cutscene. Go ahead and slay the crustacean, then move along. The crustaceans drop some decent food for the quest, so pick them up if you don't have any. Again, another very linear path. Slay the crustacean and climb up the ladder. Once outside, head southwest until you reach another cutscene. Slay the crustaceans and enter the gate. Enter the building and inspect the bus to get a stairs. Choose the first chat option. Next, continue along the path. Now, you don't have to slay the crustaceans, you could just run past them. Also, ignore the book that I received as I inspected this body on the floor. This book is just some lore, it's not required. Once in the room, go ahead and pick up a valve outer wheel, valve inner wheel, and a pitch. They are scattered across the room. First, go ahead and combine both of your valve parts. Then use that valve on the center barrel on the socket. You might need to zoom in a bit. Repair the pipe on the floor with your pitch. Next, find the barrel with all the water and turn its valve. When the water moves, go ahead and move that valve until it reaches its end.
Once complete, head to the next room. Slay the crustaceans to proceed. Now for this part of the quest, to make progress, all you have to do is pull the lever to kill the crustacean to move ahead. As you can see here, as I pull this lever, it does the job. Go down the path and do the same by pulling the lever. Avoid getting caught by the crustacean or you'll have to do this over again. Once you've pulled your third lever, you can head to the next room. As you enter the next room, there is a chest nearby with some gems. It is optional, pick it up if you wish. And for the last time, avoid the crustaceans and pull the lever once again. you will receive a small cutscene. You'll now have to fight a mini boss, but don't worry, it scales to your level so you should be fine no matter what. Again, if you don't have any food, you could go ahead and slay these crustaceans for a bit of that. And also an optional chest for some gems if you wish. Now before we jump into the boss, let me quickly show you what you should do. Once you jump in, go ahead and start attacking the tentacles one by one till they're all down. Then you will start fighting the head. Go ahead and just simply slay it. Now this is going to take a little bit of time. There's going to be a few special mechanics, but it's nothing you can't just out eat. So I suggest just focus on your abilities. Here is one mechanic where you'll see some shadows and this is where some goop will drop. Simply just sidestep. Um, Taking this boss down really quick, despite being a very low combat level. Once defeated, you will receive a cutscene. After the cutscene, speak to Lucy. Then return to Gudrick where you started the quest. Speak to him. Choose the first chat option. And quest complete.